Bonjour, bonjour! I hope you had time to digest everything you've seen in the Champions League this week. Personally, I'm still hungover from PSG's win against Barcelona on Tuesday, but hey, that's another story. Week 9 in Ligue 1 is almost upon us, and as usual, there's a few things worth looking at. But before we start, let me remind you, as always, to subscribe to our YouTube channel just by clicking on the link below to get all the best coverage from the top European leagues. Every year, in every league, you always have a big surprise. You know that team that no one expected to do so well, even though its own fans? Often a promoted side as well, using the momentum from their promotion to do well in the top flight. Well, this year, that team in France is mess. They've had tough years recently, but they're finally back where they belong, in Ligue 1, and with a bang as well. Fifth in the table right now, with a mix of youth, like their very promising left-back Boozman, and experience like someone with Malouda, plus a few exotic players, Falcon or Crivez, who have already proven great buys. They travelled to Evia on Saturday with the ambition to keep alive their great run of results. I really like him. I've always liked him. And let's be honest, I think I will always like him. Wissan Ben Yedder is not your usual type of prolific striker. He's only 5'7", but he's so clever and so gifted technically. The Toulouse forward has scored already 5 goals in 8 league 1 games this season. One of them against PSG last weekend. And talking about PSG, only Ibrahimovic himself has scored more than Ben Yedder in Ligue 1 in the last three seasons. He will face the Saint-Etienne defence on Sunday at the Stade Geoffroy Guichard and I'm sure he will cause them a lot of trouble again. When will Marseille stop? That's the big question in Ligue 1. Marcelo Bielsa's men are on fire. They've won the last six league games with an overall goal difference of plus 16. They're almost unstoppable offensively, mostly thanks to André Pierre Gignac and Dimitri Payet, both on an amazing form since the start of the season. Even if they struggled a bit more defensively last Sunday against Saint Etienne in the second half, the league leaders are two points clear of Bordeaux and five of PSG before their trip to Caen on Saturday. And it should be business as usual over there. Five days after Barcelona were beaten in Paris, it's now Monaco's turn to travel to the Parc des Princes on Sunday. It's the big clash in France this weekend. PSG finally kickstart the season by dominating the Catalans on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, Monaco did also well in the Champions League with a good draw away at Zenit. Berbatov and Ibrahimovic are both big doubts for the game though. But still, it should be a top contest between the champions from last season and their vice champions, with still an advantage to PSG, I think. If it's very interesting at the top of the table in Ligue 1 with six teams in five points, it's even better at the bottom. From Guingamp in 20th position to Caen in 13th, so eight teams, there are just two points, two little points. And already this weekend, we've got crucial games in the fight against relegation. We've got Rennes against Lens, which is 15th against 14th. We've got Bastia against Lorient, which is 16th against 17th. Guingamp have to win as well at home against Nantes. And same for Reims, who was Bordeaux. The pressure is already massively on. Oof, I'm already very excited about all of this and I hope you are too after seeing this video. There is no doubt it's going to be another cracking weekend in Ligue 1. And if you're wondering what is going to happen in Spain, Italy or Germany this weekend too, well, I've got your answer. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here and you will get great coverage from the other big three leagues with my brothers from another mother, Andy Brassel, James Horncastle and Raphael Honigstein. Be good and I'll see you next week.